today I wanted to film real quickly my favorites, uh, my favorite beauty products for the month of October. I'm going to go ahead and put this video up tonight uh, because tomorrow everything in my house is getting packed and Thursday it's getting loaded onto a truck and transported to Colorado. So therefore, I'm really not going to have time to film. Um, I think I told you guys this in a, in a previous video how huh? it's going to be kind of hard for me to make videos. Um, in the next few weeks or so. Um, so I wanted to do the this favorites video and post it early because usually I'm pretty late at this. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I guess I can start with lip products. I've been using the Revlon Color Burst uh, lip glosses um, a lot lately. This one in particular is a favorite of mine. It's called Sunset Peach. It's number 022. And it's a really nice peach. It, and on camera it looks a little bit more orange maybe. My lighting may be changing. Let me see if I can fix this lighting over here. I don't know if, it, if that helps or not. But it does come off a little bit on the orange side. But I do like this uh, lip gloss. They're pretty creamy. They're very pigmented. And they last for a decent amount of time, to be honest with you. They're not sticky. They don't stink. Um, they don't have a funky smell or anything like that. So I like that because if I have a gloss that's too sticky, I don't really like that. Um, I also have another one in Gold gold Dust, number 024, which is just a nice kind of tan gold color. <clears throat> and I got mine at Ulta. Let me show you the uh, tan there. Uh, you can get these at Ulta pretty much anywhere you can find Revlon products, pretty much drugstores, Target, Ulta. Um, I got mine. I, mine actually had the $2 off, uh, like a little coupon that was... Um, tape to it like a vendor coupon so if you can get it like that you will save a couple more dollars on it because um, I think they're I think $7.99 or $8.99 so they're really inexpensive for a gloss and you do get quite a bit I mean this is a huge tube and it'll last a long time for me um, my last lip product is going to be the L'Oreal Color Riche Ferris Nude lipstick and I've showed you guys this before in other videos I will do a swatch here just so you guys can see that nude color it goes with pretty much every look from bright looks to nat natural looking um, eyeshadows to very dark and you know smoky looks you can pretty much wear this with anything it's a great go-to color for those of you who are looking for a lipstick that you can use with your entire collection of eyeshadows and not have to have you know a pink lipstick a, a, a nude and a berry tone or anything like that or bronze shades this is something that can go with everybody all the other other colors and I feel like all skin tones can pretty much wear this color universally so that's great because it's also easily um, accessible at drugstores uh, let's see um, another drugstore product from L'Oreal is the Hip Studio Secrets Bright Eyeshadow Duo in Flare. I think I mentioned this before in another favorites of mine. I'm wearing it now. I don't know if the camera's picking up the orange, but I have the gold all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone, and then I have this orange in my crease and just blend it out a little bit so it's not so harsh. Um, this is something that's very quick and easy for me to do a look. To be honest with you, this is my makeup bag for the next couple weeks. And this is one of the products in that bag that I'm going to be carrying with me. So that says a lot about the product. But as far as the color wise goes, um, the gold is a really nice gold shade. And the orange is a pretty, pretty bright orange. You can definitely tone it down if you wanted to or intensify it. But I do like those two color combinations together. I think they work really great. Um... Alright, for the last drugstore brand product that I have is a product that I've been using for, well, since the beginning of the year, since January. So it's, it's going on um, to the, at the end of 10 months, 10 full months of using this product. And I use it uh, sometimes on an everyday basis, sometimes every other day, depending if I use um, a different concealer or not. Um, if my dark circles are darker, more noticeable, if I didn't get any sleep. But... The Garnier Nutritionist Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Rollerball is really great. Um, if you hear any whining, it's my dogs. They're in the room with me, and my husband is on, on the other side of the door. Um, it's okay. This here, I, I've had the actual same tube for the entire time, and I kid you not, this stuff, it, like, it never ends, and you get 0.5 ounces, and you only need just a little bit of it, 
and it says to gently roll under eye from inner corner to outer corner and this has a little ball at the end which if you can see the color pigmentation of it this ball is a bit cool so it kind of helps with any puffiness that you have I'm using it right now as my concealer um, I haven't really been sleeping much um, these past couple days because the moving process is just hectic if you guys know if you guys have moved multiple times or you know what it's like you can probably understand why it's so hard for me to get sleep and not to and to shut my brain off at the end of the day and not think about what I have to do the next day but um, I've had pretty dark circles these last couple days because of the sleep deprivation but um, this has been great this has been my best friend um, like I said I've been using this for many many months now and I love it I will repurchase this I would recommend this I will probably do a video review, I don't know why I haven't done a review of this just yet, but I will probably once I get situated on the other side. Um, but um, this is great. They also have one that comes in a green tube which is just clear and that one is also for puffiness and dark circles because this one has the caffeine in it which is supposed to help minimize the appearance of dark circles and it says over supposedly over a two week period you're supposed to notice less of the dark circles so... I haven't really paid attention because I usually don't have really dark circles, just when I don't sleep. Um, let's see. I'm still loving my Benefit, uh, their real mascara. I've been using this little guy here for a while. I have it on today. I did two coats of it. And two coats really does extend my lashes. It gives me that full definition of every single lash. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't run on me. It's really black. And I love this brush here. And I think I've showed you guys this before, and I've probably used it in a tutorial, but it has a little bit of a ball at the end. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, that helps kind of get the inner corner and kind of help extend the outer corner out like a wispy effect, which is something that I like to do with my mascara. I'm going to definitely repurchase this. Um, I'm trying to refrain from buying stuff while I'm still here because that's more i got to pack. But this is definitely a great mascara to buy. I'm going to do a review on it hopefully soon. Um, you can get these at Sephora, and I think they're $22 for the mascara. Um, yeah, I think $22 is about, about right. Another one that I've, another mascara that I've been using a lot is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And this one is a bit of a fuller brush. And this mascara formula is a little bit, um, more of a shiny mascara, if that makes any sense. It's a fuller brush. And in this brush, I don't know if you can tell, but there are some tiny little bristles they kind of attach themselves to the to your own lashes and give you a little bit more of a, a extended length um, I do like this one I just don't like the smell of it it's a little bit kind of odd but um, as far as this I can use one coat of this and it really does give me a nice natural definition if I do uh, two coats of this it gives me a really great um, look to my lashes and sometimes I've even done first coat of this and then following with the benefit they're real and I love the two together I think they're really great um, so that one can be purchased at Ulta and Sephora and even on the Smashbox website so I'll put all the information below wherever all the where to buy stuff um, if you expand that info um, another favorite of mine that you probably already know about is my Tarte Smooth Operator SPF 20 uh, Tinted Moisturizer mine is in Agent 10 um, this is something that I've been using for a very long time. I did mention last month in my favorites that um, I love the Laura Mercier one, and I still do. Um, I packed that one because I wanted to use this. I'm breaking out pretty badly with my skin right now, um, getting the cystic acne again, which is pretty painful. If you if if you're if you know what I'm talking about, then you can agree with me that it's it's. I'm kind of miserable with, with those breakouts because I usually don't break out like that anymore. So whenever I start breaking out pretty badly, I always stop using whatever I'm using and I'm going back to the Tarte if I'm using a powder like I was for a while using the Laura Geller powder, the baked one, and I like it. But then when I start breaking out, I need to switch to something that is more organic, that doesn't clog my pores, doesn't have the mineral oil in it. And on the back of it, it tells you what this product is formulated without and the list goes on dye-free, talc-free, sulfate-free oil free, paraben free, fragrance free so it is very organic and if you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin or if you just want something that's good for your skin this is the product that I would recommend. I've done a review on it I've even showed you guys how I apply my tinted moisturizer and you can find that video it's a pretty old video several months back 
Um, but I'm still going on strong with this and I adore this product so much that I'm going to repurchase this. And I've had mine, the same two, for going on, I think over a year now. This The expiration date isn't, isn't not until February of 2012. And I bought this last year in 2010. So it lasts a good bit. Um, there are days where I will not use any products. Like if I'm going to be home, I try not to use any products on my face, any makeup, just to kind of give my skin a breather. But when I go out, um, this is something that I always have with me. And it also is going to be in my little makeup bag because this is all the stuff that I have with me for my makeup for the next two weeks until I find a house in Colorado. So um, I can do a video showing you guys all the stuff that's in this little... Um, bag here once I get situated and show you guys this is the same stuff that I took with me when I went out of town in the beginning of the month but that is pretty much all of my favorites um I guess I could incorporate um some song favorites I have been really liking um Adele's song Someone Like You I love that song I think it's great and every time I listen to it on the radio I just turn up the the radio or my Pandora um and also, I've been really liking the LMFAO um, songs. Like, I have um, that radio station on my Pandora, and they play some really good songs. Um, it's definitely been really great to have um, that radio station here because um, I'll go crazy packing with nothing to listen to. So, it's been really great. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much all of my favorites for this month of October, and I hope that... Um, if you find something in this video that you'd like to try or if you have any further questions you can leave them below. I will put the link to my form spring page where you can leave questions anonymously and I can go back and answer them or you can leave them here if you like to. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so. It is free that way you have access to all my videos. I do have a, a lot of videos that I plan on doing when I get situated that I've been trying to work on and get everything just right for it. Um, so please check back for those videos and if I don't post a video in a couple days, not a couple of days, a couple weeks, um, it's not because I'm just completely blowing off my channel, it's just that I'm going through a lot right now. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Also the link to my Twitter so you can follow me and kind of find out what's going on or uh, what's what I'm doing in Colorado as far as house hunting if you guys are interested in that. I could do a, a home tour once I find my house if you guys would like that. Um, and show you my new setup. I'm gonna. I'm excited to do my makeup room all over again. I'm really gonna do it really nice in this next house. I feel like it's gonna be much better than just plain white walls. <laughs> so this is pretty much the last of this setup and the last of these walls that you're gonna be seeing. Hopefully it'll be nice on the other end. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for supporting my channel and for being so loyal um, and watching my videos. I really do appreciate you guys and I hope that you guys had a wonderful month of October. And I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.